Hello, I am Dr. Judson Brandeis, a board-certified urologist, and I would like to talk to you today about circumcision. Circumcision is the surgical removal of the foreskin, and it's the oldest surgical procedure in the world. Approximately one-third of the world's male population is circumcised. The incidence varies widely between countries. For example, the rate in England is only 6%, the United States is 70%, and Africa tends to be well over 80%. The reason for this is that HIV transmission is lower in men who are circumcised. Certain religions mandate circumcision, including Judaism and Islam. The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends newborn circumcision and says that the preventative and public health benefits outweigh the risks. The most common reason for circumcision later in life include phimosis, paraphimosis, inflammation of the glands, and condyloma. Circumcision has been shown to reduce the risk of HIV transmission, urinary tract infections in boys, sexually transmitted infections, and it virtually eliminates the risk of penile cancer. The goal of circumcision is a good cosmetic result with adequate removal of the outer and inner layers of the foreskin. Adequate hemostasis with no infection is essential. Exposing the glands sufficiently to prevent phimosis and paraphimosis, which is the trapping of the penis inside the foreskin or trapping of the foreskin behind the glands, is a positive surgical outcome. It is also important to maintain penile sensitivity. One of the risks of circumcision is the possible loss of sensitivity. This is controversial and very difficult to actually measure. Other complications include bleeding, concealment of the penis under scar tissue, skin bridge or attachment of foreskin to the glands, infection, urinary retention, and damage to the urethral meatus. Fortunately, most of these complications are very rare. There are different techniques for foreskin removal, including dorsal slit, shields and clamps, and excision, and there are multiple techniques for anesthetic, including a penile ring block, dorsal nerve block, lidocaine spray injector, general anesthesia, and spinal anesthesia. A dorsal slit, as seen in the upper right, is used to expose the meatus of the urethra for urination. This is something that's required in elderly men who are unable to urinate. It is not cosmetically appealing. Excision with suturing is usually done under deeper anesthesia and is a surgical procedure where the excess foreskin is completely removed and the penile skin is sutured with an interrupted fashion to the skin just below the glands and corona. This takes a few weeks to heal. The Mogan clamp is the traditional tool of the moil or Jewish rabbi performing ceremonial circumcision. More commonly these days, pediatricians use the plastibel, which is a plastic collar placed around the penis. The foreskin is pulled over the collar and a suture is tied around the skin, causing the excess skin to fall off eventually. This is a very common and safe procedure. A similar technique was developed for adult circumcision. This is called the Shang Ring Circumcision. The Shang ring is a sterile device consisting of two concentric medical grade plastic rings, an inner ring with a silicone band and an outer hinged ring. The inner ring fits inside the outer ring, which will lock once they are together. The Shang ring comes in multiple sizes based on penile measurement. To ensure that men cannot remove the device prematurely, a locking mechanism must be broken using a special tool. The advantage of the Shang ring circumcision is that it is very quick, taking less than 15 minutes, requires only local anesthesia with minimal pain during the procedure and minimal pain afterward. It results in excellent cosmetic outcomes and approximately one week of mild discomfort while the ring is in place. After circumcision, patients may resume their usual sedentary activities but should not engage in strenuous activity that causes pain or discomfort. It is appropriate to take a shower two days after the procedure and then reapply a dressing. No swimming or beach trips for two weeks. No sexual activity or masturbation permitted for eight weeks after circumcision. 
you will occasionally see a few drops of blood for the first two weeks. Some men experience pain with erections at night for the first week, but this typically resolves after the first week. If sutures are required, they will absorb in a week or two and typically do not require removal. We usually see our patients a week or two after circumcision to check on their progress. In summary, circumcisions are recommended because they reduce the risk of sexually transmitted diseases, urinary tract infections, and penile cancer. Circumcision is a safe procedure with minimal side effects and risks. The only downside would potentially be a mild loss of sensation. The Shang Ring circumcision is a quick procedure with minimal pain and a one-week recovery with excellent cosmetic results. This is Dr. Judson Brandeis, board certified urologist. My office is at 100 Park Place, Suite 140 in San Ramon, California. Please contact us at appointments at brandeismd.com or call us at 925-255-7867. Thank you.